Hello, I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts, and we are coming on to do another Junk Journal July, which this is for Tag, which is the 19th prompt. And I'm going to take it literally to make a tag that goes in a Junk Journal. I need to go ahead and ink this up. Do we want to do orange? Let's do red. make this little pocket here for the tag to go into. Just ink up the edges a little bit here. A little bit of color in here. There, that will work nicely. Let's go ahead and get this little notch to make it look like a pocket. Ink these little edges up just a bit. There, that looks great. Now we know what size that our tag needs to be. Let's go ahead and glue this down. Just a little bit of art glitter glue it holds really well. If I can get the glue actually on the cardstock, that works out better. Okay, let's go this way. All the way to the edge there. That works nicely as a pocket to put the tag in. That looks good. And this is one of the tags I had left over from Creep on June. I thought I'd put it to good use. So we need the tag to be about here. So let's cut this off about right there, right below that little piece on the decoration. Let's see how this will fit in here. That will fit in there just great. Oh, do we need to take a little bit more off? I think a tiny bit more. There, whoops, that will work out nicely. Let's try it again. That looks good, we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and start with this part of the tag. We need a backing on it because I don't want to ink up the whole thing to get rid of that white. I have a scrap here that will work out nicely. Let's just glue this down. Just want a thin layer. I just already started doing thick, didn't I? Just a thin layer on the edge. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I know I am. Just put a little glue in the middle just enough to hold that little toffee dyed paper down. Put it to each edge and I won't have so much to cut off. Flatten that out a bit. I'm going to take just a moment for this to dry, not long, but I don't want to get glue on my scissors, so I'm going to just set this aside and we'll go ahead and work on the front of this pocket here. I thought we would just start out with stamping it, that that would be fun. And what color would we like to stamp? Um, how about we go ahead and try this uh, vintage photo what it looks like. Might not show up. Let's see. Oh, that looks nice. Just ran 
randomly place some on here and see what we think. Probably one more up there. There we go. That looks nice. What else do we want to put on here? How about we do, what about some red roses? That might be pretty. Going to use the aged mahogany. I'm not too fussed if it doesn't get the whole pattern on there. Just want some on there just for a little red. That looks nice. Just a little bit of color. About right there. Ah, huh, yeah. How about right there also? Then on this little edge. And about right there. Hmm. Every corner needs some, doesn't it? There we go. I like that. Just some random. There we go. Now we have really cool looking printed pocket. There we go. It's a pocket. That works. Okay, I like that. Let's see. Do we need something else on there? Do we want some numbers or something? I like it like it is, but let's go ahead and get some little Just put some numbers on here randomly. That might be cute. Um, let's see, get up and brown. Vintage photo. That really blends in, doesn't it? That's not. That's not what I was looking for. Let's not do that. We'll just, I might use it on the tag. I really like the way that looks though. Just like that, it's really pretty for a pocket. Let's see, where's our tag at? Let's go ahead and get it cut out. Or do we want to let's go ahead and try the vintage photo and see if it shows up very much it might show up enough let's get some more ink on the sponge here there that's good let's pop around this side just hitting those edges this white edge off. There, that works. There, I think that is going to be great. Let's see about that number. I think that looks nice. I like that number. Hmm, what is this? That's really pretty. Pretty map. It's very pretty. I like that. Let's see what we can do here. Let's fold it. Just see how that looks. Very nice. I like that. We could quite possibly just wrap it around like that and there'd be a little bit of color on the back. That'd be good. I like that. Let's go ahead and crease that down. And let's ink this up in red. Just to make it look a little different. Just using the aged mahogany. 
This is for hashtag Junk Journal July, which is hosted by Meg at Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. This is the 19th prompt. Let me make sure. And it is tag. There we go. That is going to work really good. I like it. Let's get some glue stick on here so we don't have to use so much of the expensive glue. curling that's funny okay here we go let's just go a tiny bit on the edges here really good on that. I think it looks really, really nice. And just have a little bit of color down there. That works out great. I like that. I like this number three. I do like that. Started to get some lace. Don't get any lace. It's going in a pocket. <laughs> really did start to get lace to put up there. Uh, let's not do that. Let's find something else here. This is cute. Let's cut this out. And see what we think. Takes a few little snips. I like to cut little things out. They just don't take long at all. I like that one. Let's see if we have another one here. I have a whole bowl. Let's see what we want. That's a label. What's this? Counts due when rendered. No, I think we want another number. Let's find another number somewhere. I think that would work. It has red on it, so I think that will go with our theme. Just a simple little tag to go in a easy little pocket. that in my little side tray there. Okay, let's get this inked up around the edges here. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice. Something like that will work. So this one needs to go down first. This one. Then the number three. This way. I think it should go this way. There, I like that. I think that looks good for a tag. Very nice. And then you can journal on this side. That looks good. How about we do a little red? Just a little color here. A little more color. There, I like that. That's better. Now let's get some little trims and something. Let me see how it goes in there. See if that's too thick. I think that will work nicely. I'm glad we cut some more off the bottom because it would be way too long. Okay, so we want it to be about right there. 
right in that space of there is what we have to work with to put some little trims up there. Have some little, little scrappies here. Let's see what else we have. Quite a few little scraps. These are my favorites though. I love this. Crinkled seam binding. There we go. Crinkled seam binding. And the shop name for crinkled seam binding is uh, My Scrap Cabin Shop. And you can find her, I think her name is Erin. You can find her on Etsy, My Scrap Cabin Shop. It's amazing, amazing stuff. Reasonably priced. Great shipping. She is amazing to work with. Okay. And I paid for this all with my own money. I am not sponsored. Okay. This is so pretty. Ooh, that black is pretty on there. Oh, I like that too. That's pretty. Hmm. This will be a toughie. And how about some red? Well, I think I like that. I just like it just like that. So we are going to go ahead and use the tiny attacher. Get this attached here. Where is it? I think that I don't need the big stapler. I think I just need this one. little tiny attacher. Okay, hold them all together. There, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love it just flopping everywhere. So I think though what I want to do is I have some little charms. This one is little antique keys and this one is a heart lock with the key. I think I might want to just pop these on, one of these on here. I think that might be cute. That one, or the key, I think it's this one is the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, let's see how are we going to do this. Get it through the material. This needs to go on first. I really like things that are the same on both sides, so you don't have to worry which side is which. Okay. Now let's just pop this on here. <laughs> Maybe. All I want to do is go through the material and this is so sharp, it is heading toward <laughs> the cardstock. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we got it this time. I like it. I think that beige one is just a little bit too long right there. It's just kind of being a problem. Let's just snip that off. Okay, now let's see what we've got. That is really cute, really floppy. I like how it turned out. This one also needs to be a little shorter. There we go. I like that. That is really cute turned out really cute. That is my take for tag for hashtag junk journal July prompt 19 and the prompt is tag. That fits in there nicely. That is really cute. I like that. I'm Bex with Black Whisper Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful crafty day.